Climate change is affecting every part of the Caribbean, though contributing to less than 1% of total global emissions, the Caribbean suffers disproportionate impacts that severely threaten livelihoods, ecosystems, infrastructure, and health. This threat is even more severe due to the geographic location of Caribbean countries in the hurricane belt and concentrations of populations and economic activity in coastal zones. Caribbean nations are highly dependent on a small range of economic activities, such as agriculture and tourism, which are intimately linked to the environment, making them highly susceptible to external shocks. Launched in 2019, the project, Enhancing Climate Resilience in Cariforum Countries, was developed to scale up efforts in the Caribbean to reduce the human and economic impacts of climate change while finding opportunities to build resilience. This will be accomplished through climate resilience infrastructure for national and regional resilience, enhanced capacity and a more effective response to climate change by means of adaptation measures. This project is being implemented by the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center under the Intra-ACP Global Climate Change Alliance Plus program in the Caribbean and is funded by the European Union. The Caribbean Community Climate Change Center was established in 2002 by the CARICOM heads of government with a specific mandate to coordinate the region's response to climate change. And the negative impacts are many. But of all the impacts that are occurring, there are some that are ob obviously very, very significant. The first is that we are seeing a significant change in the weather patterns that are caused by climate change. As a result, we are seeing more heavy and extreme rainfall events that are causing uh, record floods with devastating damages. We are seeing increased frequency and intensity of droughts that are also impacting farmers and agriculture and the availability of water. We are seeing because of warming ocean temperatures an increase in the intensity of hurricanes. For the first time, we are witnessing category four and five hurricanes happening at a frequency that up until now uh, was never ever seen. These hurricanes are so massive and so powerful that the impacts that they're having on countries are unprecedented. We're all part of the same planet and the planet is in danger. And the Caribbean is very important for us because the Caribbean as part of the small island developing states Probably that region in the world that will be impacted or already has been impacted more than other parts in the world and also the impact is stronger than um, what these small developing island states can handle. And you only have to look at what happened the last 10-15 years and you can make a list of all the disasters which have impacted the Caribbean. Look at all the hurricanes. Look at the droughts, the floods, look at the acidification of the ocean, look at the raising um, sea levels. Um, I mean, there is something really seriously going on. And, and as I said, I mean, we also see this impact more and more in other countries of the world. But in the Caribbean, it is really striking. Project efforts will mainstream climate change into development and increase preparedness and resilience to climate-related stresses and shocks. This will be established by strengthening the climate observational and monitoring networks in CARIFORUM, enhancing the Caribbean's climate resilient water infrastructure for water security, maximizing awareness of climate change in the Caribbean for informed decision-making at the policy level through educational and outreach programs and training sessions. And the conversion of the climate risk management tool into an e-course to aid decision makers with integrating climate resilience into their planning. 
The biggest steps in, in my opinion from my seat is actually not only convincing people that climate change is real and climate change can have a negative impact. It's not only convincing people, it's actually convincing the right people. The 16 CARIFOR member states and their national climate change institutions will receive equipment in the form of automatic and evapotranspiration weather stations, while select member states will receive new coral reef early warning systems. The project will benefit over 35 million people in all 16 Cari Forum countries. I am the Caribbean. Yo soy el Caribe. I am the Caribbean. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I am the Caribbean.